welcome back to my kitchen. Today I will be making scrumptious Herbie Spring Chicken Pot Pie and once again I am very excited about this recipe because I have never tried it before. So stay tuned to see how it comes out and of course to do a taste test with me. Let's have a look at the ingredients. You will need two tablespoons of olive oil plus a little extra for brushing over the pastry. A bunch of spring onions, sliced, 250 grams of frozen spinach, six ready cooked chicken breast or chicken thighs, 350 ml of hot chicken stock, a half a tablespoon of whole grain mustard, 200 grams of frozen peas, 200 ml of half fat cream fresh, a small bunch of tarragon leaves, a small bunch of parsley, finely chopped, and 270 grams of phyllo pastry. This is a great weeknight dish that the whole family can enjoy. So let's get started. Step 1. Heat the oil in a large non-stick and oven-proof pan or casserole dish on medium heat. Add the spring onions and fry for 3 minutes. Now stir through the frozen spinach and cook for about 2 minutes or until it starts to wilt. Step 2. Add the chicken into the pan and stir through the stock and mustard. Now bring to a simmer and cook uncovered for about 5 to 10 minutes. Chicken pot pie originated from Greece. Greeks took cooked meat and placed them in open pastry shells that were called autocreus. It was the Romans who added the top crust making chicken pot pie into an actual pie. Step 3. Stir in the peas. Creme fresh and herbs. Now remove from the heat. Step 4. Scrunch the filo pastry sheets over the mixture. Chicken pot pie is very traditional and the filo pastry makes it much lighter. Now brush with a little olive oil. And bake for about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown at 200 degrees Celsius. All done. Serve warm and enjoy. All done! And now it's time for my favourite part, the taste test! <laughs> Let's give it a try. I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of peas, but all the other flavors work so well together and it makes this deliciously scrumptious pie so amazing. <laughs> well, this recipe was so easy, convenient and scrumptious. 
So I have a delicious dinner waiting for me and you know what that means. I have to go now. <laughs> but please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. See you all next time. Goodbye.